Hi, thanks for tuning in to my official YouTube channel. Make sure to like and subscribe to my official YouTube channel. Make sure you leave etiquette and respectful comments if you choose to. And go to my website, www.susanneuling.com. So, I had this experience dating this couple in the year of 2012. This male who I don't remember much about him other than the name of Joseph Estes. And then um, he had been married, who I was also dating, his wife, Megan Estes. Although Megan looked like McCoy, I don't remember what her first name was in regards of Fort Sam Houston at Medical Hold Unit. Now, Megan was as she was, and it would be funny if McCoy, or Megan, was the same individual if she had been dating a female who was a brunette. She had longer hair. I don't know what, um, so there's a guy that was in the San Antonio community as far as what's supposed to be considered the adult consenting lifestyle community. She was a brunette. She was a little bit taller than me. She kind of, for those who know what Trish looked as in reference to um, Cross and, and those individuals, but she was taller. And McCoy had been very upset because of uh, situations regarding that particular female. So, but we didn't get along regarding McCoy and I because of quite a few reasons. She was a specialist or a PFC, and I had not graduated basic training. And so there were a few other factors that she tried to claim in certain references. And even though I was actually hospitalized while I was in medical hold unit because of some of the medical situations, before and after the rape situation, reference to Brackenridge, for those who know, um, there were quite a few situations that occurred. And so fast forward to 2012, where it was as it was, and um, after Irving in the year 2011, and after my scuba diving in the year of 2009, I met Joseph and Megan at Mike and Patty's. And the two of them just kept kind of being around where I was, as anybody would know who had been at those events. And it was one of those, what is it, you know, and so I was I was friendly. And then over time it was our what it what is it that you want from me? Like just just get to the point. And so that was when Joseph had said that he was interested in dating. Oh, but you're married. He said, well, you're polyamorous and da da da. And I said, yeah, I am. Um, it's been a while since I've dated a couple, and I don't really like dating couples. Because what I've learned is if I date a couple, usually one gets more attached than the other. And there's usually a situation where I don't feel comfortable because I'm not willing to be a part of certain things. I'm not willing to end somebody else's marriage. So unless I actually have a sensation where there's actually that trust that I would actually be capable to believe that there's actually balance
a consenting adult lifestyle that requires being informed. And so I already informed both Joseph and Megan that I was just trying. I wasn't going to commit to anything ever unless I personally felt comfortable. And so there were multiple attempts as far as certain things, and it was I'm not interested in certain references. So the way things went was the way things went. At a point in time, I had been asked on a date by a male who was not dating at the time. And I had informed him of the situation. He said, oh, well, you know, since it's not really everything important to you, you know, and you're actually looking at other factors, well, then, you know, we can go out on a date. Yeah, sure. Okay. You know, that's fine. I'm not in a serious relationship. So... Yeah, that works. Before I left Erica's garage, I received a phone call from Joseph complaining. And it was, why do you even know this? First and foremost. Secondly, why are you involving yourself in my life? Third, what type of ridiculousness do you think you are to actually try when you have a wife, first and foremost? Secondly, I already informed you, I'm not interested in that type of a relationship. And so there was a back and forth. If you go to my website, two books together put everything together. There isn't realistically anything that I haven't acknowledged in regards of in an overall sort of way. Everything is literally as I explained, it's an update in regards of my journal blog, The Ornery PSA. So I've already given the background in a minor way compared to the larger details. Which, of course, because it's my life, I obviously would know the larger details. That's common sense for anybody. Now, while some people have been on social media much longer than I ever have because of the way I grew up. So while other people in New Jersey and the tri-state area had their social media accounts of whatever type, about the late 80s time frame, I did not make an email until 1997 or 1998. So there were people in the overall area where I was born and raised who had multiple emails, multiple whatever it was it was. I did not. Even my own biological It just wasn't something I was interested in. Not that I didn't care. It was, I just had other things that I was taking care of. So my life and my responsibilities and what I needed to take care of in comparison to the majority of people in New Jersey that were my age. So by the time of 1989, the majority of people that I was going to school with and older, had a social media account. Whether it was an email, whether it was a blog online, something of some sort, messaging, whatever. I did not have that until almost 10 years later, after everybody else. Everybody, it was literally nine years. So from the time frame of everybody that I was going to school with, that was in my grade, everybody else had a social media something another. Nine year, nine and a half years realistically from the overall average was when I had made my first email. I hadn't made one, I didn't, it's not that I didn't want one, it was just, I have other stuff I'm taking care of. 
I have other things that I need to do. So, while everybody else, and those who know the tri-state area especially, in the 1980s and 1990s, you know for a fact as to how big the different internet aspects were at the time. So I personally just wasn't involved. Aside from the fact my biological mother worked at Prudential doing information technology software engineering back in the 1980s and 1990s. And with that, well, why would I bother? I was busy taking care of other things, not just as far as I was concerned, my own school, my own life. I had my pet dog, A, A will be for sure, and Sasha. Um, I was babysitting and I was working. I was literally working before it was 1990. I had actual employment by the time of 1989. So it didn't really matter to me. I realistically actual employment a bit earlier regarding stuff as far as the World Trade Center and the World Trade Center Plaza as far as assisting the security director as far as making sure those areas were actually secure. So in reference to higher levels of Certain measures were put in place because of what I would explain to the security director, which was my babysitter's husband, as well as his team. And his team of whichever guys, they would pull in the different people that worked on the different floors that were in charge of whatever aspects, as well as the security firms, as far as different, what have you. And I would explain to them. On top of that, in regards of Asher Holmes Elementary School, because it was known my intellect level, we would have assemblies where people would show up, they'd give a presentation, and then afterwards they'd ask if anybody had any questions. A lot of times I did. And then afterwards, usually I would spend a minimum of an hour and a half while the rest of my class went back to whatever with the presenters as far as different ideas and what have you in those time frames. So I was actually, and it got to the point in, in those time frames in Asher Holmes Elementary School, I was actually put in the front of the class. I sat in the first row, even though whatever class I was in was sitting wherever, even in sixth grade, I was actually in the front seat because they would give me a notepad and I'd just make notations as far as different recommendations, suggestions, notations, whatever it was. And then afterwards, the same thing. I would speak with these presenters, give them my opinion as far as it was concerned. I don't know what the employment would be called in reference to that, but I went over that. And so it, it was something that I dealt with young in age because highly attentive, highly intuitive, I would bring up things that some people just hadn't thought of. And so um, even my own biological father would have to acknowledge this in regards that there was a smoking cessation situation. And I had made uh, certain things that I had actually done misuse. Whether or not it worked, that's a whole other and so it was as it was though. And so I didn't ever not really do certain things because of a lot of situations. It was known where I was going, it was known who my biological father was, it was known who my biological mother was. And so it was as it was during those time frames. That's why I would guesstimate in reference to my invitation to marine and science technology school. Because of quite a few factors, we did have military guys who showed up to the school and gave a presentation. They weren't recruiters, they were talking about the ocean. And I had talked with some of these guys and explained certain things and talked about the jetties, talked about the buoys and all that sort of stuff. And they were like, and we need to speak with you after class. <laughs> that, that, that was, it was, I guess I could make a joke in regards of uh, earlier, I was kind of murmuring to myself, remember?
extremely uh, detail-oriented <laughs> for a few reasons. And so <laughs> that was just in sixth grade. And so, yeah, just before this, so we were close to two, and I remember about that. Anyway, <clears throat> so it was as it was. So as far as social media and what would be considered expected regarding <laughs> having the moral beliefs of the person. And then if anybody I had been involved with ever looked up my social media accounts, of course they would see the difference in time frame between the difference regarding my biological sister compared to myself. And my biological sister being four years younger than me, of course someone who has absolutely no clue and has no common sense to just ask me would assume that whatever they'd assume, I actually have no idea what they'd assume. So it was one of those, okay, well it is what it is, as far as that's concerned. Yeah, I, I brought up being medically retired from the army. I've been honest this whole time. So individuals who might assume whatever they assume, well that's your assumption. It's your fault for assuming as well in comparison to just asking. I guess it made that happen especially in the state of Texas, because of how many active duty National Guard reservists, veterans, and dependents there are. And so, you know, it was as it was, and, um, but fast forward to 2012. And this couple, and the reference is the current President of the United States of America, 46, Joe Biden, and, um, so there's only a few people that I can remember named Joe or Joseph. There's my ex-sister-in-law, Susie Marie Nichols Lopez at the time. Her son was named Joseph Anthony Lopez. And he had gone to a Catholic high school, uh, supposedly as far as I was concerned. Um, then there's her first three children's father, Joe or Joseph. And he had immigrated from Mexico to the state of Texas. Then there's Joe, I don't know his last name, who I was told was in the army, friends with those who know Scabuda or William Talent or Billy Talent from Stevens Trucking in scuba diving. And Scabuda knew I was dating, or actually I was engaged to Sean McCall at the time. And situation as far as that was concerned where I defended myself and Billy later I think it was like a year and a half later he had informed me that he hadn't heard from Joe who said he was a ranger and then there's the dress blue problem as far as what I already brought up and I made attempts to explain back then in 2009 Though the scuba divers in the civilian recreational area had their opinions as far as that was concerned. And then there was Carrollton, Texas, and those situations regarding McCoy Elementary School, as far as that was concerned. And then the fact that my son and my daughter had lost their biological father less than a year and a half from the time frame of certain aspects regarding their scuba diving and only one year from their Grandpa Nichols. But you know, common sense as far as having been honest as far as I'm concerned, other people, that's other people. You know, when you get accustomed to the online and social media thing in comparison to the in-person, face-to-face person aspects, I suppose it depends on your opinion. And so those particular individuals, I did not discuss having to defend myself because it was 2010. My fiance was in basic training at Fort Sill, Oklahoma. There was already the situation with his prior ex-girlfriend in that capacity and so on and so forth. I was dealing with quite a bit and it was literally just a month or two maybe three.
three before the four one two situation. It was a little bit busy. While it is less than a year by that point in time from having landed at the bottom of the ocean at the Vandenberg and survived and not one scuba diver that I knew had actually had any common sense to speak with me in person, face to face in person and just ask. It was one of those, why are you following me around like lost puppy dogs? Why don't you actually take your regulators out of your mouths and speak with me in person with etiquette and respect in comparison to acting like lost puppy dogs? In comparison. Or stray cats in those regards. Why? However, I did what I could to remain calm because I figured with common sense that if I was actually accurate, they would. Instead, it was as it was. I give this as an example because in Cedar Creek, when driving back from an event, uh, Philip Olmstead and I were driving and he had said that there was a truck that had been following us. And so I did a quick whatever, but it was in the neighborhood I was already in. And so it was as it was regarding that situation and it was in Zippy. So Zippy stood out a little bit. And so those particular situations were as they were. Philip would know what type of truck it was, whether it was, a, if it was like an avalanche. Well, that would be uh, someone I had dated in regards to Cozumel. So that was that one. And so, but he didn't tell me what type of truck it was. And I didn't see, I saw the lights, but I was driving. And so I had to take care of other things. And a lot I was dealing with during that point in time. So after defending myself in regards of flipping the guy across the room and running out, you know, a different version of Brackenridge after the raid, um, it was as it was. Now, what's human decency as far as anything's concerned? I wouldn't know officially in certain references because that would require human beings to have human decency. That's how that goes. So, is what it is. So, in reference to another, or which would be the last one that I would know in the state of Texas, that would be Joseph Estes. And that particular situation regarding Taco Cabana and how I had informed him it's not his choice, it's my choice, my body, my choice. Those particular factors where I was not willing to tolerate certain situations. And so there were some points where, for example, we went to SeaWorld one day. He was like, look, it was the dumbest thing ever. I mean, like, it, it literally was one of those, if you have a question, stop being ignorant and just ask instead of being stupid. And so we sat down, it was Megan and then her, his and hers, uh, two daughters and son, if I remember correctly, and then my son, my daughter was in the hospital after what occurred at Bamsey in the emergency room. You know, because what is human decency? And so, you know, just pointing that out there regarding those clarifications and verifications. So anyway, he looks at me and he goes, look, there's a whale. I 
push them to speak about something that they don't want to. If they don't have to, or in my case, if I don't have to, I don't have to. There is no excuse for anybody to push for that. At all. If you want to know, have the courtesy, etiquette, and respect to actually when speaking with me in comparison to that term. Because you'll get shut down real quick. I'm not interested in those types of people. I already dealt with what I dealt with. There is no excuse, there is no cause, and there is no reason to have dealt with what I dealt with. My daughter, my son, and I did not civilian scuba diver sector had just spoken with me in truth and actually just asked me with etiquette and respect in me 
immediately in comparison to the garbage that I dealt with, it would have been much different. However, what I dealt with is what I dealt with. And that hasn't changed, apparently. Because if it's needed to be known, then I can be asked in person, face to face in person, with etiquette and respect. Otherwise, I don't care to discuss it because I'm the one who dealt with it. I have the background I have, I've done the clarifications and verifications that I have through my journal blog, the Ornery PSA, on my website, www.susanmusing.com. There's the Adventures of Susan Musing Scuba Diver Extraordinaire three volume series. That's enough from you people. Because that is what it leaves you as. You people who have caused all sorts of needless drama in my life, in my daughter's life, and in my son's life because of what has been dealt with. All that had to be In truth, in comparison to what I've dealt with, you have not pulled me in closer. You have pushed me further away because of the, what I have dealt with. So if it was, well, if we remove your children from you, no. See, that made it worse. That shows the lack of humanity, lack of compassion, lack of integrity, lack of common sense in every capacity as to what I dealt with. Even to this day, the 29th of April, 2022, because there is no one that is a male who would have been mistreated the way I have regarding all. And if I'm inaccurate, which I know I'm not, what do males have? Would males have dealt with what occurred as far as Walter Reed and Bethesda? What about in regards of my Medal of Honor Art Project trip in the year of 2018 on top of the other aspects? There is not one individual who has truthfully, in person, face to face, in person, ever asked me with etiquette and respect? And when I say asked, I mean using audible words in an actual discussion. Common sense. So, I don't really care to discuss anything beyond what I my official YouTube channel, my official YouTube videos, my journal blog, The Ornery PSA, and The Adventures of Susan Musing, Scuba Diver Extraordinary, three volume book series on my website, www.susanmusing.com. Because I don't have any reason to. Personally, I don't. doesn't matter to me regarding others, because if it mattered, well then there would be the etiquette and respect to actually ask me with etiquette and respect. So those types that do that childish, needless drama of hinting in those capacities is exactly viewed as that. Childish, needless drama, hinting in comparison to having common sense. So if in regards of those civilian recreational scuba divers that made whatever choices they had, those types could have asked. But you know, I only earned 26 scuba diving certifications. I only of uh, those 26 scuba diving certifications. Sure, I only made it to the advanced open water scuba diver certification before the 
rest of my 26 scuba diving certifications that I earned, but I don't have the title as far as those types of people and how they view that in comparison to my background and my experiences from my childhood and my teenager years. So those types of people, you know, those types where they lack that common sense and lack that intelligence to just ask. So if there were people though that went to international scuba and or scuba toys and or Clear Spring Scuba Park and or whatever and asked and informed whatever and those people decided that they wanted to feel important because of whoever may have asked them. That's on them to explain to the individual who asked them about it. In regard with McCoy Elementary School, if people showed up and instead of speaking with me and informing me in truth, because those types of people in Carrollton, Texas, as far as those types of situations that I've already gone on about, those people have to deal with that reality. As far as what occurred regarding my daughter at the Fort Worth Zoo during that field trip, that's what those people have to take in consideration because there was one person to ask. There is still only one person to ask. Guess who that one person to ask is? Me. No one else. There is no one else that there is to ask about my work, about my scuba diving. No one else at all. No one. You can verify and clarify, but as far as in the water, well, that's it. You don't need to know that if you feel that you do. Well, that's your feeling. That's what you feel. It's a huge difference. Completely. So I'm not the type of person who um, deals well with those types. It's kind of a common sense factor in every capacity. So that aspect of common sense, human decency, courtesy, etiquette, respect, it is a mandatory aspect. So those common sense that could have just asked with that common sense and etiquette and respect and humanity, which is the most important part, should have done so. Personally, it really doesn't matter to me what other people think. And again, I look as I do, as I did back in 2009 through 2012 in the state of Texas with my hair, tattoos and stuff. I don't care what people think about me. Because my work is my work. And so if you have humanity, if you have human decency, if you have common sense, if you have etiquette, if you have respect, then you ask me. And if you are confused by that, well, there's my two contact forms that you can ask. There's the facts of my phone number associated with my website, and there's that. Otherwise, it's through etiquette and respect. If you would like to invite me, I know for some people, Oh, those invitations. They have that problem with invitations. You know, my 
I met a little on our, our project trips and stuff. Those invitations, that RSVP, those invitations are important. Yeah, because high protocol, why would I have the background of high protocol having been born and raised in New Jersey? So, in reference of that, regarding those people, as far as Joseph and Megan Estes wasn't interested in them in the ways apparently they were interested. And so while there was an issue because of a selfie that was taken, and I posted it on FetLife, and it was up there, I don't know how many hours at all. <laughs> I have no idea. I think it was like two or three days later, I got a phone call. Why is this up? also on Facebook and I do have my name as far as my Facebook account I mean seriously it's common sense you you know about it and so he grew up a bit and it's fine I'll take it up it's already been there for whatever and so but he also as well as Megan knew that I kept my laptop outside on the back patio uh, by that time, uh, those three little millennials were, or whatever, and then there's Mike, Anna, and Patricia, as far as those factors, and Geek Squad, and Best Buy, and, and then there's a few other people who had been over to my apartment, and that knew that that was there, and stuff like that, but, you know, if that's important, for those who didn't go over to my apartment at that time, my back patio to my townhouse is where I kept my office. So Patrick Kennedy would know exactly how my back patio was in San Antonio for that townhouse. So yes, I had uh, these blinds, these bamboo blinds. But that's, that's the, so he would know how my back patio was. And then, um, so would Philip Onstead, um, Sean McCall would know, and so would Sean Leonard. They would all know just as um, Joseph and Megan Estes would know. So then there's PETA who would know how my back patio was, uh, Alicia Discordia would know, um, the apartment complex employees at that location would know. Then there's, uh, well, there's John Vidal or Celtic Cowboy who would know. Brandon from the San Antonio, supposed to be consenting adult lifestyle who would know. Uh, Mike and Patty who would know. And, um, well, again, those three little millennials, as far as the two females, the red curly hair female, the male, and that uh, tan complexion. Uh, Anna and Matt would know, and a few others would know how my back patio was arranged at that time because of whether having been at a location where I had my patio set up that way, or um, being in the area. So whether it was in San Antonio, um, or, I mean, there's also Cactus Jack, also known as Jeffrey Kirkendall Jr., and then if he was speaking with Mike Inn and Patricia, there's that. So there's all those, as far as that set of needless problems, in those situations. So my back patio, in regards of when I had my son and my daughter and taking care of them, that's how my back patio was. It's my office area however you want to put it, it wasn't an office office, but that's where I did all my stuff, so yeah, and I knew I was on the first floor, I know what a townhouse is, 
people who I knew in Austin area, as well as DFW, as far as lifestyle stuff. Those individuals, even in the civilian recreational scuba diving, well, my back patio. So usually I would sit out on my back patio, smoke my cigarettes, and MMJ. And um, work. So, yeah. In San Antonio, that's what it was. It was no. Shortly after was the Taco Cabana situation. And it was, I'm not who you think I am to you. So he had one last opportunity to try to get the situation to work. I did explain it in person, face to face in person, at a San Marcos event. Because when I ended that relationship, there was no going back. There was no um, reconciling whatsoever with that individual. At all. Because of how those, um, that Taco Cabana situation, I had already dealt with a few things. And so, um, if scuba divers in the civilian recreational scuba diving have that understanding, it, if they had humanity, though, of course, when I showed up, it took me that long from what I dealt with to show up in 2019. But, you know... What would be important to discuss anything? Who would ever see any signs as to what was dealt with regarding defending myself in that corona situation? Common sense. Again, you actually have to have humanity and common sense, but that is what it is. And so, in regards of that individual and the Taco Cabana, well, there's no reconciling from that at all, whatsoever, in any capacity. So, okay, I went to stop by as far, there were a multitude of reasons why I wanted to stop by Temple of Flash, but I didn't even get to speak with, so it was as it was, and all of those reasons were not in the letter, and there was nothing that was discussed that, well, there was nothing discussed, but there also wasn't anything in the letter that there was to discuss, so that was what it was as far as back in 2019. And so it was as it was, and um, yeah, I did my updates regarding my journal blog, Ornery PSA, on my website, www.susanmealing.com. I have this weird oddity about me. I won't talk with people about stuff that I've written about first. I have this internal mechanism called a brain and um, so I actually have discussions with people because that's how you have discussions and so the way I view things, especially since my different stuff as far as online. If you want to speak with me about something, well then you can respectfully, with etiquette, bring it up to me. Otherwise, if you've already read it online, well then, why would I talk about what I've already done in a recent time frame? So I'll discuss whatever else in comparison, because I have that capacity to. So it is what it is, you know. Um, I 
figure that's how you get to know people. Thought that's how communication works. However, it is what it is. Um, it's one of those, I figured I, I maybe I'm not the only one who does this. Um, but maybe, just maybe, um, some people have thoughts that they don't speak about. And maybe, just maybe, there are people who have thoughts that they don't type about it either. And maybe, just maybe, there are people who have thoughts that they don't do anything unless in a certain circumstance to bring that to light. I didn't think I was the only one. However, I am as I am. So, sure, I have come up with what I've come up with regarding my scuba diving, um, the creation of the underwater travel system. That's my creation. Been working on that for a while. Uh, I did put it in the drawing phase because I had figured the last key to what was needed. And so that's why I had sent it into the patent. But then there was all this other stuff that was needed, and it was one of those, well, you can get back to me and actually speak with me with Anakin and respect, otherwise I won't be going into it. And so it is what it is, because I'm particular, extremely particular. So I have a few, <laughs> few situations of I have thought processes of and ideas, but I just, I don't draw that out. I learned after that, regarding the patent situation, that, um, well, there's just no need for me to do that. So, personally, for me, there's no need. So, unless in certain circumstances and what have you, just not any reason for me to, because it's intellectual property and all that stuff. So, I am as I am. Anyway, I bring that up because shortly after, up in Washington State, there was this Guardian Asshole Show, is what it was supposed to be called. Through, as I was informed, I was told this by a guy. Uh, named, ironically, Joe, or Joey, in Washington State. He worked for Boeing, from what I was told. And um, he wanted to do whatever. I put it on my original Facebook account, Susan Mee Ling, though it's Dirk Lily as far as that's concerned. And I, would, I don't know what other people's opinions are regarding the term Dark Lily. Um, I was making a joke. But that's a joke just for me. Um, that would be what that would be. However, in those regards, you know, I had been a part of that, and then there were just certain circumstances where certain oddities, again, my updates in my journal blog, the ordinary PSA, on my website, www.susanbeefling.com. It's also the modern day book that, and um, it's on my website, the book section, and uh, there's a few other factors where it was just, oh, so, uh, you know, just was as it was regarding that, it, it's kind of irony. I had come back from Iowa in the year of 2018 after my Medal of Honor art project trip and the way it went. And um, then my son went and wanted to graduate early and then join the army, which, all right, I'll, I can't be hypocritical, so okay. And then there was another problem in reference to how my son and I wound up in Washington State as far as a physical confrontation, and I left. And then um, stayed in a hotel for a little while. And then I got an apartment because of the situation, as I was told, regarding Caramel and Will Featherly and Tia, as far as some people I didn't ever meet before, didn't know. Um, there wasn't really the want, as far as my concern, to getting to know them. Um, in certain references, there were certain energetic situations I was picking up on. So instead of putting in person, face to face in person, regarding where I've been volunteering at, through a bunch of stuff, I took a step back because I 
her at the club, so I just decided, you know, out of respect and etiquette to stop by her. Again, the irony, my son and my daughter's birthstone is the month of September, which is a sapphire. And so, <laughs> kind of difficult for me to really look at people in a certain reference with my son and my daughter's birthstone as the name of the club. Uh, I don't know what common sense that took, but good morning. <laughs> that is irony, they were born in September. And so, I was born and raised in New Jersey and people know about 2011 or I apologize, 2001. And so, what there is an 11 there though, to take in consideration regarding Irving, but not the same in that capacity, though it is what it is. Anyway, just so happens that after that, you know, I get my apartment and I'm writing and I go to a church and a temple synagogue and I murmur to myself, about a date because I have this weird thing that happened after my head injury on Palm Sunday in 2000. I don't know how other people who have survived a head injury maybe or not on Palm Sunday in 2000. Uh, I also don't know what they deal with though. I had a subarachnoid hemorrhage in the frontal lobe of my brain that took eight and a half years to dissipate out of the MRI and CAT scan views. And so every now and then when I discuss things, words kind of combine. Or I murmur about something or in a discussion I discuss things and something blurts out and it is what it is. It's semi-ish in a minuscule way related to whatever I'm discussing. However, if you take a look at my journal blogs, the ornery PSA on my website, www see how there's a lot of interconnected factors. And so, you know, I, I just so happened to murmur something about date. Not in a dating relationship, not in any relationship capacity at all. Nothing of that in any way, shape, or form whatsoever. I wasn't even looking at a relationship at all. I was working on myself and my work and the way my thoughts go. And so instead, the irony, I go and meet the guy from Guardian Assholes named Joey. I don't remember his last name. He just said he worked at Boeing. It's an irony in regards to how my son, my daughter, and I wound up in Washington State as to the Air Force officer school that he said regarding the Cowboys dance hall Stony Lulu concert March um, the 25th or 21st or 22nd of March in 2013 and how that whole situation went and his supposed Air Force, I learned later, officer basic training doesn't occur at Lackland Air Force Base. Though there is an irony regarding Joseph Estes who did not graduate basic training and he had worked at Kelly Air Force Base, which that doesn't mean anything to me because the amount of civilian contractors at Fort Sam Houston, I mean, I couldn't even count on my fingers, toes. I really just couldn't count the different companies that are associated. <laughs> I mean, seriously, it's the equivalent of how many MLSs are there. Anyway, so that was as it was, but you know, I have already put that together in modern day mode. 2019, 2020, go to my website, www.susannewling.com, and the links in the book section go over, you know, where you should go purchase that. And so, because Ten Commandments are so much more important nowadays, especially with that technology.
So as I was murmuring and writing notes and going over a multitude of situations in my thoughts while writing, which obviously I can multitask in thought, um, and as I said, um, not listening, not a fondue, whatever I don't even know. I never had fondue before. It seemed like I don't know what that was. It's like, why are we eating this? Like, no. But it's a, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Some people have their opinions. I don't know. I mean, just business something. I don't know. I don't know why anybody would ever do that. Did you feed the people in the state? <laughs> While he had some food for a little fondue thing. <laughs> no. <laughs> Why would you think that? <laughs> Although I was looking at what you use in fondue. <laughs> it's a good thing I stay calm. And so... <laughs> Because I thought about that then, and I just, I remember, I looked at the, <laughs> looked at the little fondue thing of a bob, and it's like, uh, <laughs> what a cute little fairy thing. <laughs> oh, this is seriously, this is seriously awkward. <laughs> oh, oh, I have so much calmness. These are actual internal thoughts at the time. Like, oh, <laughs> it's this boiling liquid <laughs> with this extremely sharp and pointy. 
And so, yeah, you know, that guy, he was just like, oh, yeah, you know, did you think this was a... And it was weird, because he did this weird little eye twitch thing, and it's like, just you put that down. <laughs> <laughs> you don't... Internal thoughts, you don't use that to get that out of the way. You don't do that to get that. <laughs> <laughs> you use your hands. And then there's Irving, but yeah, <laughs> it's one of those. If there was some sort of, you know, instead of being honest and truthful and stuff like that regarding, you know, the name Joey and then Joseph Estes and then other situations as far as I was concerned, it's like, ew, just, just. personal opinion is just they it's just I you know what this is the difference between the army and the air force the difference this is the difference the army is usually just like hey A B C D E F G and then there's that one so. <laughs> Having looked at the Marine Corps, um, you know, they are terribly blunt and to the point, <laughs> pun intended, you know, with those, I really do like those dress blue uniforms of the Marine Corps. The Marines know in a hypothetical when they take in consideration my scuba day here, possibly some of those Marines can think about what my favorite. I mean, the whole uniform is fantastic when it comes to the Marine Corps. But I do like Chinese. <laughs> so, <laughs> yes, they, you know, here's the irony. <laughs> yes, I do like you for your shiny rack, Marine. Um, but there's this, this I, I, I like your stomach. It's shiny.
I have a bit of a bias. <laughs> I know that the Marine Corps Dress Blues does have that ass up. It's my favorite part. Is the <laughs> <laughs> and the way the jacket fits as far as the Dress Blues. But it's this right in there. It's my favorite part. <laughs> Because how are you going to actually have a dating relationship, romantic relationship last? You actually have to have that natural aspect. If you don't have that natural aspect, it's just common sense. If you don't have that, um, and 
that's what I believe in regard to the higher divorce rate, is because people haven't been natural with one another. Whether it is a arranged whatever or whatever, it has to be natural. It, it, you won't have, and I also believe that in reference to the birth rate, because there are so many situations that even though it should be a natural aspect, it's been such a mess in those regards. And that also goes to people who haven't followed the Ten Commandments. I mean, thou shalt not covet the spouse. So, if you know someone is in a relationship, in person, face to face, in person, all that stuff, blah, 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 you don't covet them. That's the facts. Even in that regards of Joseph and Megan, I had, I had learned that he had actually left her twice for another female. And it's one of those, yeah, I can't be a part of that. I, I can't um, I can't deal with that. That's not something that um, I, I can't personally, that's not, that's, I, I don't feel comfortable in that reference with that. Um, of a few factors. So, in regards of an actual relationship, you know, I, I have my preferences. There isn't, you know, I have to know how long has it been since you've been in a relationship. If it's a, you know, you, whatever, I, I need to have certain um, because of. Not just because of whatever could be, such as regarding Sean McCall in that reference and what I dealt with there, it's also in reference to the genuine connection. You have to have that. So you have people who at this point in time are doing that Zoom dating. That's another reason why I haven't really been going to certain things, because if you're having that, I'm real relationship and so I'm very particular and knowing that I know myself and I know that I understand myself and I know that I comprehend myself I'm not someone that can be that way One of those, yeah, sure, I can acknowledge somebody's good looking, but in order for a relationship to develop into the whatever as far as that is a different situation altogether. That's a, um, I don't, I don't even know how to put that part into words. So, you know. with the way life is at this point, it's one of those, well, um, that's a um, different situation altogether. So I can acknowledge plenty of people are attractive and what have you. Um, but as far as relationship aspects go, that romantic portion, um, there are certain levels of connection and common goals and um, viewpoints. I know that some people have the, oh, well, I'm going to attract. Sometimes, sometimes. Um, I guess there is the irony diving in space, that technically is seen an opposite attracting, but it's not the exact same necessarily, although I guess it depends. I guess that does depend. So, but that's, that's a whole other, it's a whole other ball of wax in my opinion regarding that. So, it, it is what it is. So, <laughs> anyway. Yeah, so I don't know if there's been situations regarding San Antonio and DFW and 
imagining that we didn't touch on. And it's like, okay, well, I guess there is the irony of how certain um, references are as to how people view certain things. Um, and opinions just end up being jokes. And so um, if that's a media reference, metaphor sort of way. I could completely see Patrick being kind of related to Trump in certain regards as far as 45 because of just certain ways as to how he has been. <laughs> and so I could completely see <laughs> what I could completely see is Patrick actually if you were to find out about finding the silver lining especially and then <laughs> Regards of Joseph Estes, I can completely see Patrick just being like, well, you know, I told you this, and you know, well, let's do this, and let's do that, and everybody would ever, <laughs> and then a whole bunch of people be like, yeah, because, you know, what, what, what is wrong, like, I don't know, because, but then there's the Taco Cabana situation, so, and a bunch of other Ironically, he would have been like, yeah, no, 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 no. Because especially if he knew about Irving. Like, let's say he was where he was at work, and that was in 2011. And <laughs> well, when he got back from work that night, it was like, I don't want to talk about it. And it's, 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 it's probably a very similar situation. It's like, what, how was work today? And, you know, whatever, as far as that's concerned. But it is what it is. So, yeah, that would be irony because he was working at well, I was working in a different capacity. I was on my laptop on the back patio, and then I dealt with what I dealt with. So, you know, anyway, thanks for tuning in and going like and subscribe to my official YouTube channel, like my official YouTube videos. Um, if you're going to comment on my official YouTube videos or any of my stuff, uh, please do have etiquette and respect. Please go to my website, www.c.